Hello everyone. I'm going to make a presentation on safety instrumented system logic solver. And the application level requirement. The topic will be on application level requirement. Video is being taken on behalf of instrumentationtools.com and automationcommunity.com. Kindly watch and subscribe. Safety instrumented system logic solvers. We'll go over the basics. Safety instrumented system application program is very vital for the safety instrumented system logic solvers. Users has to follow a uniform approach based on the conditions set by the international safety approval agencies for successful safety instrumented system implementation, SIS implementation per IEC 61511 and other international standards. So the application program is the one which is executing and doing the necessary control and corrective action. So that has to be programmed clearly and any mistakes shall be avoided for the betterment and safety of the plants. This is a logic solver program requirements. We will go over the few points which is applicable for the safety instrumented system logic solvers. The programming application code is to be taken up subsequent to logic solver selection to execute the safety instrumented functions. The type of programming language has to be has to be confirmed has to be finalized once the type of logic solver for the safety instrumented system is selected the application program must follow the manufacturer's specification prescribed in the safety manual to ensure the safety and reliability each uh, manufacturer of the logic solvers or processors will go through an approval process from the international agencies like IEC and XEDA to TUV like those organizations and based on their approval only they can deliver the products with the required software. So and for which they have to go they have to develop a safety manual also. So that has to be ensured and their best practices to be followed. Supporting documentation such as programming criteria, safety manual and a specific platforms design specification is required for application program development this is uh, there shall be a standard rules for the programming accordingly the program has to be written safety instrumented functions implemented in on a certified logic solver must follow safety manual for that logic solver which are subjected to international safety certification agencies this is what we described in the earlier point also they have to have a certification from the approved international agencies written security procedures shall exist to prevent unauthorized or inadvertent changes to the software program the application program and the relevant software can be accessed modified and edited and modified if required and any changes can be made with an approval by the department leader or some concerned authority so they will have a approval in the names of persons who can work on those systems so that has to be done otherwise somebody will put their uh, skills and then make mistakes the plan protection in charge shall designate those persons allowed to make changes to the code and those are followed to perform program loads so only the authorized persons can work on those programs and do the changes where whenever SIF and BPCS application program are implemented on a single certified logic solver, the safety instrumented function code must be must either be separated from BPCS code that means separate partitions or be clearly identified to the safe state or a risk mitigation hazard assessment and alternate management to be developed by the operation personnel and plant operators need to be trained in this response to sustain the plant operations when sys instruments goes out of service so whenever any instrument fail happens the program shall take care and do the interpreter protection the safety instrumented system sensors and environment shall be clearly marked in the p and id piping and instrumentation diag diag drawings and in the computer software documentation implementation of safety instrumented system safety manual recommendations to meet this requirement new or modified safety function programming shall be verified against its specification by application code review or simulation there are some simulators available for each type of inter programming so the logics can be tested offline without putting in uh, without putting it into the real 
world application. This is logic. So, this point is containing new or modified safety function programming shall be verified against its specification by application code review or simulation, assessment by an independent safety system coach, and validated by functional tests prior to its initial operation. This is what we discussed. The code has to be written thoroughly as per the standards and it has to be assessed by safety experts. The safety requirement specification and safety instrumented system or process meets the intent of this requirement. The safety logic, the safety system logic solver application requirement is also a part of safety requirement specifications or process. So, here we are just seeing one basic programming. Uh, this is done through using a ladder logic diagram for a pump on of control. So, this is by a specific vendor. Here, these conditions have to be met for this output to go to the respective pump, either to start it or stop it. Here, in this case, this is going to do the selection and do the automatic. For example, in this example, all these signals are through, all these contacts are through, and this output is en enabled. The output of this enable and adjust another contact internally on the sorter side and on the higher level is also not there for this reservoir to and the higher level is there adequate level is there to start the pump so in this case the pump one automatic control if the selection is done in the control room so based on the selection and since these two signals are already available if the selection is made to run the pump by automatically so, it will be selected and the pump will start. So, how can we do the better utilization of the logic solver program? So, these are some methods. Control engineers need proper design documentation to ensure that safety functions are not compromised during program maintenance. Because every time the control engineers has to review the programs and see that all the necessary backups of the programs are taken up and uh, the codes, the programming follows in best or uh, international practice. So, uh, in no point of time, they need to go through some shortcuts and avoid any errors. Maintenance personnel need to know that the instrument they are working on is a SIS instrument in which application program it is connected to and take, care, pro take proper care while carrying out maintenance. The, for the safety instrument system, the maintenance uh, folks uh, involvement is also quite high. So, whenever they are going to work on a particular instrument and if it is in the uh, safety instrument loop, also there is only one instrument, they have to approach the respective uh, leader to give a bypass authorization. And again, they need to ensure that they are working on the correct instruments identified. Operations need to need ready access to details what instrumentation is involved in safety programming. So, they need to understand which are the instruments available for the SIFT instrument system protection and do the respective action either to give a maintenance release work order or to isolate the instrument or equipment to work on them. Like that, they need to do and understand the required level of application programming. Thank you.